Is breakfast the most important meal of the day? If it is, why? And if it isn't, which one is when it comes to losing weight? And the other point, how about building muscle? What's the most important meal of the day when it comes to your lifting workouts and building muscle? That's what we're gonna cover in this video. But before we go there, please click the subscribe button below because on this channel, you're gonna learn how to build an awesome looking, high performing, strong and ripped body that goes along with your business success. What's up guys, this is Coach Amir from the sevenfigurebody.com. And in this video, we're gonna talk about what is the most important meal of the day. You've probably heard breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but is that true? Is it not true? What is the actual right answer? So before we actually go into it, I would love to ask you to let me know in the comments below, what do you think right now, without watching this video, what do you think is the most important meal of the day? Is it breakfast? Is it some other meal, dinner, lunch? What is the most important meal when it comes to losing weight? And what is the most important when it comes to building muscle? So while you're typing that out, let's slowly go into it. So the first thing to think about is when it comes to losing body fat, so everybody says weight loss, I always say lose body fat. Remember that the number one, the most important thing that determines how much fat you lose is the total calories you consume per day and the total calorie deficit that you are able to create. Because remember, fat loss is a function, a direct linear function of the calorie deficit. So the size of the deficit determines how much body fat you lose. So when it comes to that, that right there tells us that whether you have breakfast or not, it's completely relevant. What is relevant is how many total calories you consume per day and what is the total calorie deficit you were able to create for that day. So level one, or what I like to say is first order of effects is what's the total number of calories and what's the size of the deficit? That's number one. Now, second order of effects says, okay, so this breakfast that you may or may not have, how does that affect this total calorie consumed, right? Total calorie intake or total calories consumed. That's really the question here. So case in point, if you eat breakfast and that allows you to really not be hungry and for lunch you have a normal meal, for dinner you're really not hungry and you have a normal meal, meaning normal sized meal, and you're actually able to stick to your calories needed to lose weight, okay, awesome, then you should have breakfast. Breakfast in that case is good. On the other hand, if you, for example, let's say skip breakfast, there are two scenarios. You skip breakfast and you're not hungry more later in the day, awesome, try skipping breakfast. This is number one thing that so it kind of shows if fasting might work for somebody, right? If you wake up in the morning and you're not hungry, okay, there's nothing wrong skipping breakfast. That's awesome. What I have against is when a fasting zealot comes and says, everybody should be skipping breakfast. It's horrible idea. Breakfast, terrible idea. So somebody skips breakfast and now they're hungry and they're constantly fighting this hunger s- signals. This is, hunger signals are there. They're hungry, hungry every morning, morning for weeks on end. They keep fighting that. Uh, hunger signal. It's never going to work for them. They're probably not going to stick to it because they're like, hey, I'm continuously hungry. I'm suffering. This is misery. I don't want to do this. I quit. So this is really when everybody is put in the same basket by keto zealot, fasting zealot, vegan zealot, whatever zealot out there, everybody's put in the same, but everybody should skip breakfast like every person in the world. Okay. So whether you're hungry or not, you should skip breakfast. No, this is not how it works. So very likely what actually very often what happens is somebody's been eating breakfast, lunch and dinner for the last 30 years. There's a concept called hunger entrainment, which simply means when you are used to eat certain meals, your body and brain are going to send you hunger signals at that time. So let's say you used to have breakfast at 8 a.m., lunch at 1 p.m., dinner at 7 p.m. Okay. And now fasting zealot comes and says, you should skip breakfast. Having breakfast is terrible, horrible idea. You're like, okay, I don't know any better, so let me try skipping breakfast. You skip breakfast, but now your brain is like, hey, I used to be fed at 8 a.m. every day. I'm gonna keep making you hungry at 8 a.m. Now, of course, for some people, a couple of days later, they adapt and that hunger signal disappears and they're not hungry anymore. Awesome. In that case, fasting may work for you. I have nothing against it. On the other hand, for somebody who's still hungry months later on and they're still fighting and basically nobody's gonna stick to it for months if they're still hungry, then in that case, it's much better for you to have breakfast. So whether breakfast is the most important meal is really irrelevant when it comes to fat loss because whether it works for you or not, 
has to do with logistically and kind of based on you know your hunger signals in the morning what you know your lifestyle also your habits your preferences all of these things are really what determines whether you should have breakfast or not but when it comes to you know if we really had to choose one most important meal of the day when it comes to losing weight remember to lose weight and body fat you get, you have to eat a certain number of calories that allows you to be in a certain calorie deficit so Really the most important meal, if when you look at it from that standpoint, when it comes to losing body fat, the most important meal is the one that makes you satiated the longest. Because then that's going to very likely allow you to actually eat fewer calories and be in a bigger deficit and allow you to lose more body fat. So when it comes to fat loss, that's really the main thing. The meal that makes you satiated the longest, that's the best and most important meal of the day. On the other hand, we have the second part of the game, right? So the first is weight loss, getting you lean. And the other one is building muscle because we don't want to be just skinny fat, you know, have no fat and no muscle. We also have one to build muscle. So if you're lifting weights and with the, of course, with the goal of building muscle, because that's why we go to the gym and lift weights is because we want to build muscle. So what's the most important meal in that case? It is the meal before your workout. And this is, by the way, probably, you know, controversial, opposite from what we've heard for the last several decades, where everybody says the most important thing is what you eat after the workout, because you've now broken the, down the muscle and now muscles need nutrients. And this is true, by the way, but here's why it is more important what you eat before the workout than what you eat after. Number one reason is because this, what's known as anabolic window, which is the period of time, hours or days after your workout that your body has uh, an ability to build muscle at an elevated rate relative to when you have not worked out. This period of anabolic window can last up to 72 hours post-workout, up to three days after the workout, your body's, let's say if this is your baseline, body's breaking down muscle and building muscle, it's kind of always in balance. If you actually, you know, build muscle at a higher rate, like up to, you know, double the rate after the workout, this can go on up to three days after the workout, which means you're gonna eat everything you need to eat within the three days. This is why the most important meal when it comes to building muscle is your pre-workout meal. So ideally you would be eating whole foods, and in that case, you need to allow at least hour and a half, maybe two hours to digest that, at least majority of that meal. On the other hand, for somebody who is working out early in the morning, if let's say you work out at 7 a.m., no, I don't expect you to wake up at five and eat and then go back to sleep so you can, no. Just the simple solution is take whey protein, whey protein powder, 20 grams of whey protein, mix it with water and drink as a um, protein shake probably 30 to 45 minutes before the work. So basically on your way to the gym, you can just drink that. And because whey is very fast digesting, it's gonna digest within 30 to 40 minutes. So the amino acids from that whey are gonna be in your bloodstream by the time you're in the gym. And this actually prevents or rather reduces the rate of protein breakdown during the workout, allows your, you know, when you're using that protein, uh, the body's not breaking down muscle, it's actually using that protein for all of its needs. So this is why having some protein in your system before the workout is the most important thing and that's why uh, the most important meal when it comes to building muscle and getting the best optimal maximum results of your lifting workouts the most important meal is the pre-workout meal so hope you found this uh, video helpful if you did please click the like button below and also hit that notification bell so every time we come up with new videos every friday and sunday you're going to be notified so you can get more useful actionable information on how to get in the best shape of your life as a successful entrepreneur. Uh, final thing, please let me know if you haven't already in the comments below, what do you think, or what do you, what, you know, based on what you've seen in this video, how have your views have changed? Do you, does, did anything change? Did you still think this before watching this video? Or basically after watching it now, did you change it? Let me know what your thoughts are uh, in the comments below. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.